you guys, if your life is lacking in the financial department, you know, you're trying to manifest some money, some wealth, some abundance, this is the video for you. So happy that you guys have tuned back in. You guys, I wanna say welcome. If you're new here, I think a lot of you came from my recent Boss Babe video about how to make a living on YouTube, and I am so incredibly happy that the response was well received from you guys, because I talked about like dollar amounts and really got all up in it, and I am, you know, it's a little nerve wracking to go right into just all the financial details and share like my personal stats with you but so many of you were so incredibly appreciative and it's so cool to know that so many of you want social media to also be your job or even like your second or third job and my video could at least be a resource for you so I'm super happy you're here if you are new a huge huge passion for me that I also do share here on my channel a lot is talking about the law of attraction and manifesting I truly do believe that every single thing that I've attained in life and the condo that I'm in the car that I have you know my son being super healthy just anything that I have wanted or have a real desire for, I feel like I've manifested into my life. I do wanna point out that comes with hard work and consistency. Your manifestations will not come into reality unless you are consistently putting in like the work, the physical labor or you know doing the work at your job. You can't just sit there and visualize and make a vision board and you know just do like the woo woo spiritual part of it and hope that everything you want will come into fruition. That's a comment that I get on a lot of my videos. Oh, if you just sit there and close your eyes like, things will come. No, you must put in the work. You must do the daily action that reflects what you want. You, um, but the law of attraction is very, very real. It is happening all around you every single day, whether you realize it or not. And the quicker and the faster that you learn about it and you put it into practice in your own life, you guys, you can manifest anything that you want. Your dream job, your dream partner, your soulmate, vacations, wealth, abundance, all this stuff, I'm proof of that, and there's people who I look up to who've manifested things on even crazier, crazier levels that I aspire to be like. And one thing that I have gotten very, very good at manifesting is money. Now, I used to have a very, very negative mindset around money. I used to always say, I'm broke, I have a shitty car, I have no money, my bank account would go negative, and we all know that what we speak, what we say out loud, comes right back to us into our reality. It is proven. What you say is what will be. So if you're constantly saying saying really negative things and having a mindset of lack, saying, you know, I'm broke, I have a shitty job, my car breaks down, you are attracting all of those things right back to you. And there is no way that wealth and abundance and just opportunity are going to find you when you're stuck in that negative mindset. I know it's very hard to get out of because all during high school and all during college, I had that really just negative, poor, broke, lack mindset. And I never got anywhere. I withdrew my bank account so many times. My dad had to like transfer me over money. I had to actually, after I lived in college, go and live with my dad. Uh, because I didn't have any money, you know? And once I heavily started researching the law of attraction, I found out that anything that we desire in life, we can have with a simple mindset shift. You have to truly believe that you are worthy of a better life. You are worthy and so, so capable of attracting, you know, love and abundance and wealth and opportunity into your life. Every morning when I wake up and I do my gratitude, I sit on the edge of my bed. I know this sounds corny, but I close my eyes and I literally say out loud, money and wealth and opportunity and love surround me. I am so open to any new opportunity that comes my way today. I will welcome it with open arms. Like I tell the universe and I tell the world out loud because anything we say, of course, again, comes into our reality. I say money and wealth and abundance surround me. Wake up every day and tell yourself that five to 10 times. Just have that simple shift. Try to go a full day or a full week without saying, I'm broke, I have no money, I'm poor. You never, ever, ever wanna say any of that. That is the worst thing to say when you're trying to actually manifest money into your life. So yeah, I actually have a ton of different stories about how I've manifested different amounts of money into my life at certain times. I've made two other videos specifically on how to manifest money, so please check those out. They're like loaded with so much more information. But in this video, I did wanna share with you guys how I actually manifested Manifested almost six grand in less than two days. Um, this was actually, what was it now, almost two years ago. Um, if you've been on my channel a while, you know I used to work for a Verizon like third party retail phone company and I quit to actually pursue, pursue YouTube a few years ago. And I had tons of medical bills with my son. Um, different medical bills from like the hospital, Duramedic, like specific different amounts that I had to pay off that I did not have any of the finances to go ahead and pay those off. So I have been paying over these past few years like really small little payment plans. Um, and I was, I ended up, I believe I ended up paying almost every single bill. There was a few little bills left, but there was one bill left that was almost $6,000. And I 
had already learned about the law of attraction at this point was just saying my affirmations over and over again in my head, money and wealth surround me, all that type of stuff. I actually went on a law of attraction website that I can link down below for you and you download a check from the universe. Sounds corny. It's like, it's kind of like a little game. You print it out at home on your printer. You can put whatever amount you want on there. And I put on there a flat fee of $6,000. I was, my goal for the month was to manifest that some way, somehow $6,000 was going to come to me so I could pay off this medical bill because I didn't have any extra money. I was making a little bit through YouTube, but I needed that for like food and everything with my son. I couldn't use every penny of that to call and pay off this medical bill. And if I kept paying it off at like 40 or 50 bucks a month, the interest would go crazy. And I was just, I, that month, I just made it my goal. I was like, I'm gonna pay off this medical bill in full. I don't know how, but this money will come to me. So I printed off this check from the website. I wrote a check out to myself and I put $6,000 in there and I put that check in my wallet. Every single day, everywhere I would go, I would carry that check with me in my wallet. This is a huge law of attraction practice. You guys, have, if, you're, if you've already studied the law of attraction, you know a lot of people have used these fake checks to actually manifest real money coming into their life. The whole point is that when you go out and about on a daily basis and you, you're carrying around this check in your wallet, you feel like you already have that money. So it brings, it raises your vibration to you actually feeling deep inside like you already possess that money. And we know for something to come into our reality, we have to feel like we already have it. So I was walking around every day with this fake check in my wallet, but feeling like I already had the money. I was pretending a huge thing with the law of attraction you guys know is acting as if. I would just act every day like I already had the money and I would ask myself, how would I feel if I could just call up and pay off this medical bill in full? So ask yourself, how would you feel? I would probably feel like not stressed and just liberated and free and I wouldn't be burdened by all this debt and I would feel amazing. So I would do things every single day to get myself on that higher vibration to feel that way now as I wanted to feel, you know, once that debt was paid off. So, 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 so crazy what ended up happening. I. I couldn't even believe it, but then again, I could because I knew that I had manifested this and I knew that this it was gonna happen, but I didn't know what day, I didn't know who would give me the money, I didn't know where it would come from, but I manifested a specific check, right? And it's so crazy that the form that the money came to me in was a check. It wasn't like my dad giving me money or my mom or it coming from a random place. I put the fake check in my wallet and the way I ended up getting the money was through a check. So I had actually moved um, and I worked at Fur Verizon a long, long time ago. They didn't know my new address, but I guess my old mail was getting forwarded to my mom's house. Um, so she actually ended up getting a letter in the mail from Verizon saying that after I quit that job, they had a lawsuit and they wanted to pay out or they had to pay out because they lost the lawsuit. Every employee who worked for my specific Verizon store at the specific time I was working or when the employee was working there who started the lawsuit and they owed each employee a specific amount of money and all we had to do was sign the bottom of the form, let them know we lived at this residence, we wanted to accept the money and that we were well aware of the lawsuit. It like went through all the pages of it. They had sent my mom this letter. They, she gave it to me because they, I guess they didn't know my new address, whatever. I signed the letter, sent it back. Then I got another letter in the mail, maybe within like two, three days that told me because I was an, in an assistant manager position at that time, I was getting paid out a little bit higher than some of the other employees who were working there like during the time of the lawsuit basically. You guys, I ended up getting a little over $5,900 within two days. Well, I wrote the check, you know, I had wrote the check a few weeks back from the time when I needed to pay that medical bill. It was less than 48 hours that that second check got sent back to me with my name on it for over $5,900. And I needed, I think I needed like almost six grand to pay off this medical bill completely and just call and like pay it off. And I was walking around every single day with that fake check in my wallet, acting like I already had the money, trusting and believing that the universe was somehow going to bring me a flat fee of six grand. And like, it happened so quickly out of the blue. I had no idea Verizon was going through a lawsuit at the time. I had no idea that I would be compensated anything. I mean, you know, they did uh, put me through some stuff while I worked there. So your girl felt like she deserved the money. They didn't like let us go on lunch breaks and all this crazy stuff went down in my old job. So I totally felt like entitled to that pay. So I did, obviously I took it. Anyone who uh, worked during that time was enabled, was, uh, excuse me, qualified for a certain amount of pay based on how many hours they worked. And I had already worked there for a few years and I was in a management position, so I got higher pay. So they like paid out every employee who was working there during that like lawsuit time. But 
yeah, by the end of that month, uh, before the 30th, I was able to call, and it's funny, the same rep I was talking to every month on the phone, she recognized me and I had her extension, and I would always call and pay like 50 bucks or 80 bucks here when I can, and that last time I called her, I she almost dropped the phone when I told her. I was like, I'm calling to pay the full six grand today, I'm calling to like pay off this account. She was like, excuse me? You could tell on the other end of the phone, she was like, how did this bitch come into this money? And you guys, I had manifested other things before this successfully and had already fully believed in the law of attraction and saw it work on other people. But this was the most, the highest amount of money I had ever manifested in one time that truly made me believe, holy shit, this, this works completely. You set the intention, you put it out into the universe, you physically write it down, keep it in your wallet, do your affirmations every morning, tell yourself money and wealth surround me. This amount is coming to me. I don't know how, I don't need to worry about how. The whole how or you know how your manifestation comes in is not your job. It is only your job to vibrate on the higher frequency and believe that it is coming. Believe that it's possible. You know, if you set an intention that you want to manifest 10 or 20 grand, but in your mind you truly don't believe it and you think, oh, that's just too high of an amount. Like, I'll try to manifest it, but it doesn't seem like it could happen to me. It happens to everyone else, but it, that's too hard. That's too high of an amount. If you have that blockage in your mind, it will not come into your reality. And you're right, it won't manifest. Like, it will be too much money or the universe won't make it happen. You have to open up your mindset and believe that it's possible for you to attract all these other amazing things that other people are attracting every single day. It is possible for you, it is possible for me, it is possible for anyone. Even if you've been the most negative person around money for this long, it is not too late to change your mindset. Wake up, be grateful. That's another thing, gratitude brings abundance. Gratitude always, always, always leads to abundance and wealth and opportunity. The more grateful you are for what you have now, that is how the bigger things will manifest into your reality because you're already content with what you have. So the universe has no problem just giving you more. You know, it wants to give and it wants you to have everything you want. If you have a good attitude and you're vibrating on that higher frequency out of love and out of happiness and being grateful and giving back to others, you know? So yeah, you guys already know this is a topic I can like go on and on and on about. I've manifested a lot of things like this condo, my new car. I really believe I have put in the hard work, but, and also really like have totally learned how to master my mindset to manifest what I want in life. So I always want to share that back with you guys. You all deserve abundance and love and wealth and opportunity. And it's out there. All of you guys can have that if you switch your mindset. Um, I want to also let you guys know, I do have my ebook all about the law of attraction and just opening up your mindset to realize that you're capable and you're so worthy of attracting your dream life. So I'll have that down below if you would like to support. Please be sure that you're subscribed here to my channel. Also, you want to click the link down below for my mailing list because I am coming out with a manifestation course about how to manifest money in 21 days. It's going to be a real good one. <laughs> I said, it's going to be a real good one. And then something came up. Um, it's one of my favorite courses I've ever worked on and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Uh, be sure to check out my videos from the past week if you would like. I've been uploading almost every day. And you know, give your girl a follow on the gram. Uh, also, I got a bunch of questions on these. Uh, this is off topic, but if you're already here, you know. Uh, I got a lot of questions about these earrings on Snapchat this morning. You guys know a while back I was going to open a jewelry store and I bought a lot of inventory for it. Um, but I just decided to put my time into other things at the moment. It wasn't like the highest on my priority list, but I still have a lot of inventory left. Um, these are some of them. So I might just list a few things and open up the website. If you guys want to just go ahead and purchase that stuff that I had already bought, let me know. Um, and yeah, truly just appreciate if you guys are here. Thanks for watching. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and just subscribe below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.